Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 32 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show how to eliminate pet eye in an animal. Now, I actually did this video yesterday, but two of my friends, Radu and Alexandru, very kindly pointed out that I was totally wrong about the colors of the chipmunk eye. Um, because of my red-green color blindness, I often mix up red and green. So thank you very much, uh, Radu and Alexandru, for very nicely telling me that I was wrong. And I decided to redo the video, not only for that reason, but I did leave a couple things out that I wanted to mention, uh, that I meant to mention about how to eliminate pet eye. Um, those of you that have Lightroom 6 or Lightroom CC, there's now a special tool to eliminate pet eye. If you have an earlier version of Lightroom, Lightroom 5, Lightroom 4, you'll be lacking that tool. In the first part of this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of pet eye using the tool. In the second part of the video, though, I'll be showing how to get rid of the pet eye, eye if you don't have the tool. And actually, it's, it's really very, very easy to uh, eliminate. Now, you get pet eye typically if you use on-camera flash. Because the uh, flash is, is very close to the lens and it's you know shooting at the animal, it hits the back of the animal's eye and reflects back through the lens onto the sensor and you get these odd colors on, uh, you know, in the eye of the animal. Um, you know, it happens all the time with people you've heard of red eye and for years, you know, Lightroom has had a red eye removal tool. And with the advent of Lightroom 6, Lightroom CC, we now have the pet eye removal tool. And to get rid of it, it's the tool third from the left. Just click on that. You can see it has two buttons, red eye or red eye and pet eye. We're going to be doing pet eye. Now, one thing I didn't mention in that video yesterday, you could actually make the tool larger and smaller by using the bracket keys on your keyboard. The right bracket key makes it bigger. The left bracket key makes it smaller. Also, if you have a mouse with the center click wheel or you have a magic mouse like I do, you could just drag your finger on the mouse or turn that click wheel to make the um, tool brush larger or smaller. Now, what we're going to do is you want to get those crosshairs that are in the middle of the tool around the center of the animal's eye, and you just want to drag out uh, to cover the colored part of the eye. And when you do, you'll see that the uh, tool kind of will form the shape of the eye. In this case, the chipmunk's eye is very round. If it was a cat's eye, it would form more into the shape of the cat's eye. Um, to give you an idea, that's, you know, as you saw me when I drew, drew it out, it seemed to get round, and that's what it did. Now what you want to do is adjust pupil size so that you're just covering up that color. Now in this case, as I was wrong yesterday, it's it's really red and a little bit yellow down there at the bottom. So we want to get rid of that. Now, one thing, especially with Lightroom 6, Lightroom CC, the, the tool kind of lags. So take your time moving the slider. Because if you move it too far, you could see that it's starting to encroach on the fur of the animal and it doesn't look as, as good. You just want to cover up the part of the eye that is um, miscolored and nothing more. So it kind of, you might play around with it a little bit until you get it right where you want it. And as I mentioned, the computer lags, um, you know, of course. So be careful. You'll notice that darkened slider is not active for pet eye. It is active for red eye, but for pet eye, it's just all the way dark. And there is a checkbox for pet eye though, uh, to add a catch light. Now you can see when I turn it off, it really kind of makes look, look like the, the animal's a stuffed animal, like not alive. So it looks better, I think, with the catch light. So really, that's as simple as that if you have Lightroom 6, Lightroom CC uh, to eliminate the pet eye. Now, one thing I didn't mention about the catch light, you actually could move it around. You could see as I go in the middle here, uh, the cursor turns into a little hand, and I could move the catch light to a different part of the eye if you know you want to maybe match where the light source is coming from so that looks pretty good right there so that's how you would uh, get rid of pet eye using Lightroom 6 or Lightroom CC now if you have an earlier version of Lightroom you're not going to have this pet eye button but you could still get rid of this uh, glowing eye on this chipmunk it's really very easy to do use the brush tool what you want to do is turn exposure down 
Uh, for now, we're just going to turn it down to like minus 2 or so. And saturation, we want to turn that all the way down, minus 100. Then go down to the bottom, and we're going to want feathering somewhere in the middle, lower middle, like around 40 is good on this uh, animal. Auto mask, make sure that is not checked. All right, density and flow are all the way up. And the brush size is, again, affected by the uh, bracket keys on your keyboard. The right bracket key makes it bigger, left bracket key smaller. You could use that center click wheel or the magic mouse, whatever, uh, to affect the size of the wheel also, or size of the brush also. And what we want to do is just paint away that color. As simple as that. And again, make sure that auto mask is not checked or it won't work as well. All right, now, in this case, you notice it kind of made it, you know, not totally black. Go down to exposure, the exposure slider, and just turn that down further. And you can see it's doing a good job. Now, what happened was, with the flash, it reflected off this little white bit of fur on the animal. And you could see that it gave this kind of weird catch light in the animal's eye. I don't like that, so I want to get rid of that also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a new brush. So I'm going to double-click on New right there, and that gives me a new brush. Again, I want saturation all the way down, same settings, exposure down. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a second brush stroke across that. So now we have two brushes, and you can see it. It did a nice job of eliminating that weird color in the chipmunk's eye. And because I did use a flash, there is a catch light there already, so it looks quite natural. It looks very nice. So. Um, if you do have an earlier version of Lightroom, just use the brush tool. If the pet eye removal tool in Lightroom 6, Lightroom CC isn't giving you satisfactory results, which I've found sometime, especially with my dog, um, I have a black lab, and a lot of times the, his eyes just don't look right, even with the pet eye removal tool. Uh, use the brush. It works just as well, if not better at times. So. That's it for this episode. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.